Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video on the Elegance YouTube channel. My name is Adriana and I help young professionals just like you easily style outfits for a successful career. So in this video, we have a really fun video planned today because I am showing you different ways to style a pencil skirt for work. You'll definitely be able to as well recreate this looks with the items that you have because they are once again staple items. Now, if you don't have all your staple items, I do have a free staple items checklist for you to check out and download. It'll be in, this, this, in the description box below if you'd like to make sure that you have all of your staple as a woman in business um, within your wardrobe. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and to hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video here on the Elegance YouTube channel. It really helps me out when you guys press that subscribe button, so I would definitely appreciate it if you do enjoy my videos and you would like to see more. So without further ado, let's jump into how to style a pencil skirt for work. So look number one is a classic pencil skirt look. I love wearing this outfit to the office because it is simple. It's simple, it's elegant, it's easy to wear. It's timeless, it's my favorite word, timeless. Whenever something is timeless, that is a definite check for me because I know that I'll be able to wear this piece of clothing for many, many years to come and I'll be able to style it with multiple different other garments in my wardrobe as well. So it's, uh, it's timeless because the white blouse is very elegant, it's very simple to throw on and looks really nice against the fitted blue pencil skirt. So. What I've done here is I've paired a textured blouse with a simple, simple pencil skirt in order to add some contrast, add some texture to the look and add a, something that's a little bit more interesting to the look as a whole. To step up this look even more, I paired it with my red heeled boots. Now, if you don't have red heeled boots or you feel like heels in general are uncomfortable at the office, I get it, it's not for everybody. But in my case, these boots are actually easy for me to walk in. I know I can stay in them all day and I won't be bothered at the end of the day um, because they're well made. These are quality boots that I purchased. So this is a pro tip for you. If you would like to wear heels at the office because you know it's an instant confidence booster but you're scared to buy something that's gonna hurt your feet make sure that you're buying quality now just because it's high price tag like designer doesn't mean it's high quality or that it'll be comfortable on your feet do your research check out the different types of shoes um, and brands that are comfortable at a great price point and check those out these I will link in the description box below everything by the way that I'm wearing will be linked in the description box below these are just a pair of heeled boots that I love to wear with this outfit because they're red so it's interesting it adds um, elevation to my look and sophistication and a little element of glam to my office look um, while keeping the rest of it pretty rel like relatively simple although there is a mixture of um, the pat the textures outfit number two moving on to outfit number two you can pair a pencil skirt with a blazer especially a long blazer i'm such a lover of long blazers i think they're super chic now they're trendy they're in style they're elegant and guess what they flatter every woman as well like because of they elongate your torso so it's super flattering it falls on your hips really nicely like looks great from the back looks great from the side looks great from the front there's nothing you cannot go around with a long blazer, I'm telling you. So I paired this pencil skirt with a long blazer and just a simple um, striped turtleneck underneath that's fitted that I could just tuck into my dress, um, tuck into my pencil skirt and forget about it. When it comes to the colors, I did mix and match the colors a little bit all while remaining in the neutrals. So for instance, because I wore the blue pencil skirt, I made sure that the stripes in the turtleneck were also navy blue so it picked up the navy blue from the skirt and then I threw on the khaki blazer over the top because khaki and navy blue tend to go very well together um, especially because they are neutral colors so it all fits seamlessly as a whole and then as for the shoes you can opt to wear a pair of flats you can wear a pair of heels it's completely up to you just keep it neutral and make sure the, sh the colors in the shoes also pick up the colors you find within the outfit so that is that for outfit number two, styling pencil skirt number two. As for how to style a pencil skirt the third way, that is with a sweater. So this is an unexpected way to style your pencil skirt for work. A lot of people don't think to wear sweaters at work, 
because they kind of associate sweaters with a jeans look, which is more relaxed, more weekend-like, which I get it. But the best way to get the most wear out of your wardrobe and recreate as many outfits from your wardrobe as possible is to actually utilize all of your pieces. So that means take a casual item and try to step it up and elevate it with the other garments in your outfit for the office. And you could do that vice versa. Uh, for the weekend. So you could wear maybe a pencil skirt on the weekend with a, maybe a distressed shirt to tone it down in a more casual sense, if you get what I mean. So, okay. My point in all this is that you can wear a really cute stylish sweater with your fitted pencil skirt just as much as you can on the weekend with jeans. So in this case, I chose kind of a turtleneck-like sweater. It's not 100% a turtleneck, but it's up there. Um, and it's chic because it has the pattern on it, the texture on it, again with that texture, it adds an element of, um, an element that's more dynamic to the outfit because the skirt is very simple, very sleek, so it adds dimension, it, it draws your eye a little bit as well, and it sits on your hips just right. So you want to make sure that you're not wearing a sweater that's too, too long that goes past your hips, you want something that sits right on your hips and that almost makes like a waterfall effect and blends in within your skirt. So it's almost like you're wearing a dress a little bit, but not, it's not, obviously it's not a dress, but it's almost like you're giving the impression that you could be wearing a dress that was seamlessly fit together. So there you go. And then once again, I paired this look with a heel because I'm, I'm just a heels lover. Like I love wearing a heel. I think it's such a great confidence booster. I think it transforms my mood 100%. Makes me look chic. It makes me feel more confident. I must have said confidence like five times already, but it's really true. If you can find a pair of comfortable heels that you can wear at work just to boost that confidence, you, I promise you, you will never go back to flats after that. So there you go. Um, comment below which sweater you liked best or which outfit you liked best so far out of these looks because they're all really key pieces for me in my wardrobe that I love and that I could not live without but I know a lot of you guys have your own preferences so let me know which outfit you like best in the comments below. As well, last week I posted a video on different workwear I outfit ideas that you can wear for the week ahead so if you need some more inspiration as to what you can wear to the office, check out that video. I'll put it in the little eye over here um, at the top so you'll be able to click it and as well it'll be in the description box below for you to check out. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like because it really helps me and to subscribe to my channel if you really enjoy our videos here. Next week, there'll be a brand new video all about blazers and how to style a blazer for the office. So I'm gonna give you different blazer looks that you can pair together, different styles of blazers that you can wear as well um, to give you some inspiration as to how you can style your blazers at work too. That's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next week. If you have any comments or anything you'd like to say, leave me in the comments below. Leave me your, your thoughts in the comments below because I love to interact with you guys and just discuss all things workwear. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.